All right, it's Model Rocks 321 here. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new, hit that subscribe button, ring the bell notification, hit the thumb up, everyone. Be sure to check the channel often. You will get the notifications for the new videos that's coming up. This video, I just want to show you a project I've been working on. Um, it's mostly, it's not almost done, but I did a lot of work on the inside stuff like the motor mounts and everything. This is the Estes Red Nova. It is a kind of like a, a rocket design, I mean uh, a missile design. It is dying to be two-staged. It comes as a one-stage rocket, flies on like a D12 motor, um, but I, I'm going to make it a two-stager. I already cut it. A lot of stuff's already prepared. Um, the cuts are made, as you can see right here. I got a coupler in there. I had to make this coupler, which you can do. You cut a tube. You have to bind it back together. This will slide nice and freely. Motor mounts are already built in there. Everything's ready to go with this. I have it on the 20, two 24 millimeter motors, but the longer versions for the E size engines. So it will take two of these. I know I'm gonna have to compensate for the center of gravity when the stage happened, but I have Roxim and I've been using Roxim to um, help with this design. The motor will pop in like that. That'll be the bottom one. And there'll be another one. I actually have a spent casing here I'll show you. Um, just understand that if you do any modifications, I think, I believe you void your warranty, but that motor pops in there like that. And they will butt up and it's a it's a small gap. It's like maybe two to three inches. It could, it'll it'll stage well, no problem. It'll ignite that. This is very similar to the Omega, so staging should not be a problem for this rocket. Um I didn't even cut vent holes. I could go back and um put some in there, but I don't think it's needed. It's not necessary for this for this rocket. But yeah, this is just a project I'm working on. I'm gonna I'm going for some high, high altitude with this one. I'm gonna see. Rock Sim showed me going possibly 3,000 feet or so on two E motors, or you can go E to an F, but the F is composite and you can't ignite those by, by, with from black powder. It's just not hot enough. And then it's a small nozzle, but there are some ways to do it. I know a piece of thermite um, will ignite it from the black powder, ignite the thermite, then it'll ignite the uh, composite motor, like the Aerotech ones, and that'll send it up there. But for right now, I'm going to start with the black powder, and then I'll move on to other methods of getting a composite motor in the second stage lit. Um, if you know any ways, if anybody's watching this and you know some ways to get a composite motor lit, minus electronics, because it's not much space. I mean, I could build a little bay in here, but I don't know where my centering rings are. I didn't plan for that, but I know staging timer could do it. But I'm just trying to keep that, um, keep that open. It's here to fins. Um, total of eight fins, so it'd be four on the uh, upper, four on, four on the sustainer, and four on the booster. So yeah, that's what I'm. That's what I've been working on. Um, and I'm also looking at cone designs. Like this is the one that came with it, but I also had this spare cone around here. They probably weigh about the same. This one may be more aerodynamic. Maybe, maybe I'm not sure. What'll this seems to be more streamlined. This has a little ridge there that could break the air, possibly slow you down a little bit. But it'll fit. It'll fit. So I'm gonna see. I'm gonna see if I'm gonna upgrade the cone. This is one where I'm gonna leave very. I'm gonna paint it bright. Definitely the fins in the upper, but I'm gonna um, probably not do any filling or anything because I just want to keep it as light as possible. I'm gonna definitely wedge these fins, delta wedge them, keep it really light. There's this accessory piece here. I'm still gonna add that. I like that touch. It's this piece of wood dowel right here that runs the length of the body. They don't show it going on this part. But I think it goes. It'll, oh, it'll get cut, so it'll be on this top section, I believe. Maybe it gets cut. But yeah, it's just um, just a project that I'm working on. Here's my original sketch I made before I went to Rock Sim. I had always do like a sketch like this, just showing um everything that's involved. So the centering rings, engine blocks, everything's in there. I had vent holes here, but I after doing some research, I found that the gases will travel. It'll 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 ignite that um sustainer, no problem. So yeah, you got the engine blocks, got your coupler which I had to build. I didn't have one around, so I went on and built one. These are easy to build, guys. You can you can do this. Just take the same size tube. You'll put a cut in it, stick it inside the tube you want it, make sure it's spaced and even. Then you'll mark it, and you'll go back and cut that little section and use that to bind the coupler together. It's easy. It's an easy concept. I don't know if you can see that piece in there, it's holding it. This is all bulletproof, nice and hard. This is um, solid stuff here. All solid. But yeah, the motor mounts are in. Should be a good project um, for some high altitude with the altimeter. I'm going to see how high I can get up there. So yeah, that's the, the drawings again. But yeah, 
pretty much all ready to go. I'm just going to start. I'm going to be starting on the fins soon. Here's the decals. I'm probably going to definitely, I'm going to use the decals. I like them. Um, nice set of decals. I'm going to use those. But I'm going to keep it, paint it very bright and keep it very light. So the bottom section will probably be, maybe, I'm, I'm not sure yet. Oh, no, I got some bright stuff around here. I have that some more of that green left. I like the bright orange because they're easy to spot in the desert. You can see that orange. So maybe a roll pattern, maybe a half and half deal. I don't know. Similar to the doorknob. Not sure what I'm gonna do yet. But cool project. Cool little stage or two stage project on some E long motors. And I'm pretty sure E120 pushed this thing from the calculation showed it going way up there really good. So just got to make stuff solid so when it, this falls back, if I can get a little parachute in here, I don't know, get a parachute or something, or streamer at least, but protect those fins. The fins, this is nice green too, this is nice wood, so this is kind of some nice hard, I'm gonna probably, I may have to coat this at least, get these nice and hard so they stay, but that's what I'm working on, this latest project. I have a couple projects, I have the Little Joe 2 restoration project going on. This is just a Red Nova, that's these Red Nova. See, they're projecting 800 feet on a D12. Yeah, I'm gonna make see that. And it came with some. Where's the? There's the bag of parts. Yeah, there's some nose weight in here. One there, one out. I think that's one there, one out squares. Yeah. So this is in here. I'm gonna check rock sim. I probably have to add a little more stuff it down in the nose. So that's um. That's it for this one. Model Rock three two one. Subscribe to the channel. Hit that like button. Subscribe, check the links, use my Estes discount code, visit Estes, go to the website, estesrockets.com, put the code in, get yourself a nice discount, get the Falcon 9, you can get the Red Nova that's still up there. Um, these kits go out of production, as you know, they stop making them, they don't have no grits, they, oh, I didn't get that one, now it's gone, but stuff goes out of production sometimes, so that's the deal. Alright guys, Model Rockets 321. See you on another video.